Hello, Americans. No friends, subscribers, rather. Than Back here, man. So, uh, this morning, I don't know if you can hear it with the uh, fan over there going, but thank the good Lord, man, that uh, thunder, thunder and lightning showers and high winds that they were talking about, old Lion Larry was wrong. Thank God. I think uh, part of what uh, this old sew machine I just picked up a while back, but um, I think part of what saved us on the the storm is yesterday they had uh, we ended up getting rain that. They didn't think it was going to rain, so it actually uh, was a lot cooler yesterday. It was actually pretty dang nice. I think when I was out there cooking breakfast yesterday, it was cloudy. And then not too long after I finished up cooking breakfast, man, it started sprinkling. It didn't downpour, but it rained pretty steady most of the day and kept the temps about 20 degrees cooler than, you know, on the, the hot temps and the ground temperature and all that, you know, is what causes thunderstorms and all that stuff. So I think that, uh, I think it saved our, I think it saved our hindquarters yesterday. So, so today, actually out here clearing this, see this wall right here? All I got is some tin slapped up there. There's actually an old lumber tarp on the outside of that and I'm actually going to frame that wall in and put a window for lighting in here on that wall so I'm clearing out all this here and making a pile and then we ran in you know to the post office and when we were out I actually ran into one of my old mountain man buddies man I was glad to see him I hadn't seen him in six months man since right before the uh pandemic hit and last time I'd seen him man we were gonna hook up and he had a bunch of old knives and stuff because he does rendezvous and all that kind of stuff too he's a junker too man we were over there going through his uh his place man that's that's one guy that has uh I don't know if he has as much junk as I got but pretty close man <laughs> so so us junkers run together man he was laughing at me because he's trying to get around me out of the shop man I'm just sitting there going Ooh, oh, and he just starts laughing because he's trying to get out the door, but I'm locking it. But anyway, I scored a couple of, let me show you a couple of these knives. You got a few more, but this was the ones I wanted because he was actually, and I was, I was concerned because uh, he was getting ready to go do a rendezvous in Oregon and let me know he's all man you can come check out these knives you know I'm gonna take them over to the to the rendezvous but you can come check them out if you want to swap for them and buy them before the before I take them to the rendezvous you're welcome to come check them out and that was six months ago and obviously he's hoping that uh, he's not sure there's another rendezvous coming up that they haven't announced that they're um, canceling yet but the one that he was gonna go and uh, you know, pedal his goods and all that stuff. The rendezvous ended up getting canceled, so he's still, he's all, oh, man, come over when I ran into him. So we ended up going over to his place and spent an uh, hour or two over there. He's got some other stuff i got to go pick up, but I was going to show you these knives. This is pretty good. This is old, uh, this one here is an old forge craft, I believe. Somewhere, man, but it's almost, kind of almost a. Uh, I love. See, I love my old knives, man. If you watch my videos, you know that. Uh, wheel, deal, trade, collect, old knives. That was a pretty good one, man. This one here is, man, pretty dang unique. Look at the pinned handle. Almost looks like a cartridge. So that, and that's a pretty good. Ooh, look at that, man. I love it. I love it, I love it. And then this one, man, he'd actually got out at the rendezvous. When he traded for it, 
And the guy had 35 bucks he was wanting for it, but when he ended up swapping for it, doing some horse trading for it, man, the handle was all good when he done it. And they said when he went to put it in with his stuff, man, he'd bumped it and chipped that, and it's a, uh, it's almost like a clay type handle on it, man. It's still a amazing, amazing stout knife. That's pretty awesome. We got an old hickory here, and this one's a old Ontario Knife Company. Man, good old bony knife, nice quality bony knife. That other one was a uh, Forgecraft. I know it's yeah, Forgecraft. That was one. Oh, <laughs> Forgecraft. That uh, um, you know, and it's the Green River style knife. I love all of them. And this old round tip carbon blade, man, pretty stout backbone on it. Almost like an old bread knife or something, man, but extra, extra long. Very cool. And then this was my favorite of the ones that I got. And this one is actually a U.S. Ontario knife, but it's U.S. And I almost think this, and it's got a number that I got to check out, but I almost think this one's a old military knife, man. I love it. I love my knife. Man, but I was so happy to run into them, visit with them, and everything. And he's got a few other things. I got to get some more cha ching in my cha ching, but a few more other things that I'm going to pick up. Oh, and I picked up an old, uh, awesome old signed uh, book on Winchester Gun Company, man. So that's pretty cool. I can see that light through my hat. It's kind of weird looking. <laughs> but other than that, man, I'm going to be working on this today. Um, getting all this stuff cleared out and so that I can frame in that I got to decide what kind of window I'm going to put there whether I end up because I got a bunch of old windows out here I'm either going to put an old pane window in there or uh, I don't know if I'm putting those slider kind of just depends I got to go see what I have left in my pile out there but that's what man that is uh, pretty much what I'm doing today oh yeah, oh, yeah. I remember something that I want to do uh Commend uh, old Ron Ray for noticing, and it was something I've been meaning to talk about. <laughs> Is uh, old Ron Ray noticed it, but my knife, you know, this is the one that old Gregor got me, man. This custom, custom silver stag, man. And I want to commend the, the knife company, but um. If Ron Ray noticed in yesterday's video, he's all I noticed you're using a, or uh, wearing a different sheath. You must be like me and was worried about losing that knife. Well, originally, when I got the knife, that, man. when I got the knife, it came in this sheath. You know, that nice sheath, you know, it's a riveted one. You know, with the tied or uh, braided down the side stuff man nice I mean nice sheath well when I first got it the snap I was having a heck of a time with the getting the snap closed you know on it and then once I did get it to snap then man my hand would just brush it and it would just pop open you know pop open I kept on and I mean this one will just dump out of this so I was, yes, I was very concerned about that. And then the uh, weaving started, uh, kept coming undone. I've re rebraided it three or four times. You know, I mean, it's a leather quality, you know. I'm not a big fan of rivets. But, uh, you know, it's a quality, nice sheath, man. Great company. And you need to go over there and check out Silver Stag Knives. You know, made in Washington, American made, quality, you know. Man, I love, love, love this knife. Well, so I wrote the company and, you know, explained to them that, you know, that this knife sheath, man, is quality made and all that. And great, you know, for somebody that's just collecting them, but for an everyday, man, because I plan, this knife will be on my side for the rest of my life, unless I had a sheath like that and it fell out of it. So, I wrote to them, you know, and told them that... You know, the snap was doing that and all, you know, on the unweaving. I didn't, you know, we looked at their stuff and there was this other sheath like this. And just to show what an amazing company 
the silver stag is, man, they warranted it to me and sent me this sheath. Now look at this one. See, this one won't even come out of this. Not only that, it has this tassel that you can put over here, pull that. Oops, I guess I gotta have it on here. But you pull that, man, and it even has a extra safety deal there. You know, so I mean if you're wanting to use it, you know, or out there and get it ready to tangle with a bear, you're obviously going to want to undo that loop. But I mean it won't even come out of the you know, the sheath like that, man. And this one, to me, this one is the better man, this one's all sewn. No quality made. And this loop here, I believe, is to go sideways on my belt, which I like that. Especially up front, man, when I'm hunting and stuff, I'll have it, you know, more crossed this way. And I believe that's what this loop here is for. Not positive of that, but because I do like carrying my knife here. But obviously, when you're wearing it every day around town, driving in pickup trucks and stuff like that, man, it'd be jabbing you in the gut. So, but anyway, man, I just wanted to come in. Silver Stag, man, definitely check them out. Great knife company, great folks to deal with, stand behind their products, man, I'm totally amazed, and commend Ron Ray for noticing that. Everything seems to be kind of melting away, man, it's raining outside, that's great. A um, couple of yard sales tomorrow that we'll probably hit, so it'll probably take you along with that. Trash here. Really, other than that, man, not a not a whole lot going on around here. Hold that. The gloves came out of an old cabin, man, and they had it, and you dropped it down. It was just a table. Some of this stuff I ain't seen for a long time. <coughs> huh? You can see what my day is going to consist of, man. So I'm getting ready to clean this up. I've got the compressor pulled out over here. Got to get it over there by the RV plug-in. Get it plugged in, fired up. Get some lumber pulled in here and start cutting and hacking and nailing the screwing, man. That's what my plan, that's what I'm doing. And and we'll show you after we get it done. But I can't talk on the TV or talk on the TV, talk on the camera and get anything done, really. I could just film and you can watch, I guess. <laughs> Other than that, man, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Help keep the lights on. The home fires burning the propane tanks, fool. Um, check out the links below. Check out the t shirts. And make sure you get your postcard in for the drying at the end of the month. And it's coming on fast. I can't believe we're approaching the end of July already, man. It's nuts. And check out the Bonanza and the online store and all that jazz. Good Lord willing, and them cricks don't rise. We'll be back again tomorrow. See ya.